What's up enthusiasts? Today I wanted to talk about something important when it comes to using heavily modded flywheel blasters. That has nothing to do with the blaster itself and that's lipo batteries. I feel this can go understated at times but the reality is if mishandled lipo batteries can be really dangerous. So if you want to use these high performance batteries here's some things to consider. Starting off, you want to avoid storing or transporting lipo backs in hot places. This means things like not leaving them in the trunk of your car on a hot day because the heat can damage the battery. And even if it doesn't cause catastrophic failure, any damage that affects battery life is something you want to avoid. And when you're transporting or storing lipo batteries, keep them independent of each other if you have multiples. You don't want the leads to touch together because that can lead to bad things, as unlikely as it seems. Better safe than sorry on that one. There are storage bags and cases made for LiPo batteries as well that can help mitigate the effect of a battery if it goes bad and catches on fire. This to me seems like a must purchase item when it comes to battery care. When you're charging LiPo batteries, you need a LiPo specific charger and have to charge at the proper rate for your specific battery. And I'd recommend putting the extra money down for a charger that will balance and storage charge your battery. This is worth the money because your LiPo battery will likely have more than one cell. And if they're out of balance, it can cause issues. So being able to balance charge keeps them all in line and the storage charge puts it to a safe level for long-term storage. Since leaving a LiPo battery fully charged or undercharged can lead to shorter battery life or other problems. As well, when you're charging, always monitor the charge or discharge because if either the battery or charger malfunctions, you wanna be able to unplug the charger immediately. Charging with the battery in the LiPo bag is another layer of protection you can add to give a little more time to hopefully prevent a catastrophic failure or damage to yourself or property if something goes wrong. For that reason, it's probably smart to set up a charging station away from valuables or other items that could cause issues should a problem occur. LiPo batteries shouldn't be overcharged or over discharged either, as this can cause irreversible damage. Should one of your packs be ruined, it needs to be disposed of properly. There are methods you can do at home to prepare them for disposal, or if you have a battery store nearby, sometimes they will take LiPo batteries and dispose of them for you. Now I know this all probably sounds like a whole lot of hassle for the battery that just goes in your Nerf blaster. And I just gave an overview and I'll have links in the info for more detailed posts as well. But if you want the best performance, LiPo is the way to go. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope this gave you an idea of what to expect when it comes to LiPo batteries. The performance is incredible, but I felt it was worth making a video to discuss the LiPo battery when it isn't in your blaster. So let me know your thoughts on LiPo batteries. Are they worthwhile for you or is it unnecessary for you? I'll look forward to seeing your thoughts on this topic. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have fun flinging foam and I'll see you next time.